Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a Christmas tree ornament. This is a Christmas tree bell. And uh, here for this one, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this project, I've used my 3mm of the hook. So let's begin. Okay, so for this one, we are going to start with the magic circle. So just have your yarn and for your magic circle, just put your yarn around your fingers like this and make an axe here. So just make an axe and have your the second strain of yarn at the back, have your hook and insert your hook like this and grab your yarn. Grab your the second strain of yarn to your first strain of yarn. And that's it. This is your magic circle. Now here we're going to chain one. Now this chain one is not a stitch. We are not going to count this chain one as a stitch. We have just made this chain one to secure over this magic circle. Now here for our round number one, we are going to have 12 half double crochets into this magic circle. So for that one, yarn over and insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn. And you're going to have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops and this is your first half double crochet and keep on having your half double crochets into this magic circle and we're gonna have 12 half double crochets so that's your second half double crochet three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so here it is we got over this twelve half double crochets here for our round number one and now just pull your this loose end tight here it is and this is your magic circle and this is the end of our round number one we're just gonna pull this one a little tight and here it is and now insert your hook into this first half double crochet, first stitch and grab your yarn and have one slip stitch here. And this is your round number one. Here it is with your 12 half double crochets. Now for our round number two, we're going to chain one, yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch where you have made your this slip stitch. So insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and have your one half double crochet here. And this is your first stitch, first half double crochet of your round number two. Now we yarn over and we will go to this next stitch and into the next stitch we're going to have two half double crochets here. So it's one and two again yarn over and go to this next stitch and have one half double crochet and yarn over and go to this next stitch and here we're gonna have two half double crochets into this one stitch so it's one and two now keep on having one half double crochet into our next stitch and into the stitch after that have two half double crochets keep on having this one half double crochet and then two half double crochets one half double crochet and then two half double crochets and by the end of this round round number two we're gonna have our 18 stitches 18 half double crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end so keep on having your stitches here and here it is after my round number two i have my this 18 half double crochets and now i'm gonna insert my hook into by this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and this is how i'm gonna end my this round round number two now for our round number three and four for next two rounds we're gonna have one half double crochet into each stitch so for that one chain one yarn over and go to that same stitch where you have made your slip stitch and grab your yarn and have one half double crochet yarn over go to this next stitch insert your hook and have one half double crochet yarn over go to this next stitch insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and here it is keep on having one half double crochet into each stitch for next two rounds round number three and round number four and by the end of each round round number three and round number four you're gonna have your 18 half double crochets so keep on having one half double crochet into each stitch from your previous round for your round number three and four and i'm going to meet you after my round number four remember here i'm doing my round number three and i will have another round and i'm going to meet you after my round number four and here it is after my round number four my work looks like this and i've made my this slip stitch as well now here we are going to attach our second color so for this one just have any other color i'm going to use this red color here i've used my white color because my background is for red you can choose any color you want and here just going to attach my this yarn and 
here chain one yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch where you made your the slip stitch and grab your yarn and you're gonna have three loops here now yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only now yarn over go to this same stitch where you made your the slip stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops chain two one and two yarn over and again go to that same stitch where you have made your the slip stitch and have another cluster of two double crochets here so here yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook again into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops and here it is it looks like this now we're gonna skip our next two stitches so it's one and two we're gonna skip our this next two stitches and into our this third stitch we're gonna repeat our pattern so yarn over and insert your hook into that stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only now you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops chain two again yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only yarn over insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only now you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops and here it is and now you're gonna repeat our pattern so again skip your next two stitches one and two and into this third stitch yarn over and have one double crochet half fit on yarn over insert your hook again into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only so you're gonna have a cluster of two double crochets now yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops chain two and have another cluster of two double crochets here into that same stitch yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops here it is again skip your next two stitches and into this third stitch repeat your pattern and Keep on having your pattern and I'm going to meet you at the end here. Here it is. I'm at the end of my this round, round number five. And here I'm going to insert my hook into my this second chain. This is my second stitch. And we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here. And that's how we're going to finish over this round, round number five. Now for your round number four, we're going to change the color. And we're going to have our this first color. And now grab your yarn and attach your this color here and here for our round number six chain one yarn over and go to that same stitch here where you have made your the slip stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and have one half double crochet here now yarn over and go to this chain two space here and into this chain two space we're gonna have two half double crochets here so it's one and two yarn over and go to this next stitch here this is your cluster of two double crochet insert your hook into this stitch grab your yarn and have one half double crochet here yarn over go to this next stitch and have one half double crochet here yarn over and you're here into this chain two space you're gonna have your two half double crochets one and two again yarn over and into this next two stitches you're gonna have one half double crochet into each stitch so it's one and one and again into this chain two space you're gonna have your two half double crochets so keep on repeating this pattern so here you're gonna have your one half double crochet into your next stitch you're gonna have your one half double crochet and into this chain two space you're gonna have two half double crochets and keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you here and by the end of this round round number six you're gonna have your 24 stitches 24 half double crochets and i'm gonna meet you here and here it is at the end of my this round number six i have my this 24 half double crochets and here i'm going to insert my hook into my this second stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my slip stitch here and here it is that's how we're going to finish over this round round number six now for your round number seven chain one yarn over and insert your hook into this same stitch where you made your slip stitch and grab your yarn and have one half double crochet here this is your first half double crochet of your round number seven yarn over go to this next stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and have one half double crochet here yarn over and go to this next stitch and have one half double crochet here so here first three stitches we're gonna have one half double crochet into each stitch and now into over this 
next stitch into over this fourth stitch we're going to have two half double crochets into that one stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into this next stitch and have your one half double crochet and your this second half double crochet again next three stitches we're going to have one half double crochet into each stitch so it's one two and three and into this fourth stitch we're going to have two half double crochets into that one stitch and now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round round number seven we are going to have our 30 three zero half double crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is this is the end of our round number seven and now we're going to insert our hook into this second stitch this is our first stitch of our round number seven and insert your hook and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish over this round round number seven and now for your round number eight we're going to change the color of our yarn so just grab your this second color tighten up your work here and now here chain one and we are going to have our one single crochet into each stitch but we will go at the back so here it is have chain one and now go to this stitch this is your slip stitch so go to this stitch and insert your hook into the slip stitch from the back like this and grab your yarn here you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops remember we are going at the back now so here this is your next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch like this and grab your yarn and you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again we will go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch grab your yarn and have one single crochet now keep on having one single crochet into each stitch and remember your stitches are backwards so you're gonna go at the back sorry about this here grab your yarn and have one single crochet so keep on having one single crochet uh, on each stitch and all of your stitches will be backwards and at the end of this round round number eight you're gonna have your 30 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end and here it is at the end of my this round round number eight it looks like this and now here we're gonna cut our yarn we'll cut all of our yarn here and we will secure over this last stitch and here i'm just gonna turn my work and here we're gonna put our all of these loose ends in so for that one just grab your needle and here set your this yarn like this covering up your this stitch here like this and just insert your this loose end in and now put all of these ends in hide them in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is your bill is almost ready and now for the loop we're just gonna use the same hook and have your yarn and we're gonna start with our slip knot and here we're gonna chain up 33 zero so it's one two three and 29 and 30 and here it is we got about this 30 chains here and here i'm gonna just cut a little yarn and we'll secure my this last stitch and now we will insert our hook from here from inside like this and simply grab your this chains Like this and your second part of your this chains as well like this it is all done and here just grab them and make a knot here and secure them and now put your this all loose ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that it's almost done if you want you can just simply cut this yarn and leave it like this as well so it's already done and here it is your bell is ready 
and here it is this is the second one and here i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye